Hey guys, former WWE Superstar Hornsall here. Welcome to Tory Talks Wrestling. Now make sure to like, subscribe, follow, share, ring the bell, click the icon, all that jazz. Enjoy. Welcome back to Tory Talks Wrestling. In today's episode, we are going over the best physique, best bods. <laughs> Who do you think has the best bod? Well... For best bods, I know everybody thinks I'm going to go all weird and start talking about Nia Jax and Bailey and <laughs> Athena. Not going to do that on this video. This is going to be classy, San Diego. Well, before we get into it... Probably the best bod would have to be... The great Bastion Booger. This guy is gross. <laughs> it says so on his court. It says much of his 401 pounds resides in his enormous belly. And also says that he doesn't bathe. Mm -hmm. Yes. Meanest card I've ever seen. Well, we have a few honorable mentions, mm -hmm. and my first honorable mentions mm -hmm. is a female that not only has some feminine qualities, but still looks like she could beat the dog out of somebody, mm -hmm. and that's Miss Rhea Ripley from the WWE. I mean, yeah, she can literally pick up and body slam men. So yeah. Okay, who was it? Vestas. Luke Gallows. Yeah. Luke Gallows. Luke Gallows, same person. Okay. Mm -hmm. That she completely body slammed. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Did not look like she should be able to do it. She didn't even look like it caused her much of a much trouble. She's yeah. pretty tough. Mm -hmm. She's pretty stout. Who is your first honorable mention? My first honorable mention is also a female wrestler by the name of Jade Cargill at AEW. You know, she's a champion right now, undefeated. She, I don't know how she does it. She must, like, Texture always or something to look like that. Performance enhancers. It's the same thing. But she looks intensely, really work, works out. She does look like she could be a bodybuilder. She's mm -hmm. ripped. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Here's your next honorable mention. My next honorable mention is a guy that you looked at him and you just saw world champion. And that was Sid Vicious. He was 6'10 uh, and just jacked up. And to be that big and still be able to build muscle that well, it's not easy to do. I believe your next honorable mention had even a couple nicknames based upon their physique. Yes, like the narcissist or the total package, Lex Luger. Hopefully I can get him to sign this one day because I have Sting's autograph on it too. Very cool. So, yeah. Yeah, he was really built. He, he mm -hmm. had, a, had a great physique. Yes. Yes. As we get into our top five. I'm going to start with the modern day warrior, master of the Iron Claw, <laughs> Carrie Von Eric from WCCW. Y'all might know him best as the Texas Tornado in WWF, mm -hmm. but he's always going to be the modern day warrior to me. <laughs> My number five is Hulk Hogan, Hulkamania. I am a real American. Fight for the rights of every man. Yeah, very good. <laughs> but yeah, he definitely looked pretty ripped back in the day. Even that, you know, WCW days. So. Well, I mean, they ended every WrestleMania with him posing in the middle of the ring. Mm -hmm. My number four is a guy that, and I would phrase this in a way of the most waste of a body in wrestling history. As far as the person with the absolute best physique that was the absolute worst worker. And that's Rob Terry from TNA. Most people never heard of him because no one would work with him because he hurt everybody. Who is your number? My number four is Scott Steiner. I mean, you guys know he's ripped. Like, ripped, ripped. And so it definitely um, made him charismatic to watch in the ring, I guess. Oh, he had muscles on top of muscles. Yeah. Big right. Papa Pump. I thought he was going to say, he had veins popping out on top of veins. <laughs> he, he was very veiny. <laughs> he was very quite vain. Vain. <laughs> Yeah. So who was your number three? My number three was the female that was the first intimidating female. And that would have to be, there's no one finer than China. <laughs> the ninth wonder of the world, mm -hmm. Johnny Lyre, China. Yes. She was the first woman that would go in there and like fight men, and I believe she was the first woman in a rumble. Yes. And she would she go. She threw out Mark Henry. She threw out Mark Henry. <laughs> so. Yeah. For my number three, I'd have to go with the iconic physique of China. My number three is Brock Lesnar, and I picked him because yeah, he's muscly, but also he was a UFC fighter before, so that means he genuinely beat people up. So it's not just like. 
or show or whatever, I guess. So, yeah, that's why he's my number three. And his physique changed over the years. You know, as he got older, his training changed differently. Mm -hmm. And his traps that used to start up here, now his shoulders spread out a little bit more. But he was a... He's what they call country strong. Mm-hmm. You know, he will go out there and work on a farm. So. Well, 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 he came out on that tank one time wearing a cowboy hat. Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> it's a bit odd. For my number two, I'm going to go with the man that forgot to age. The largest human in the earth. As Danhausen calls him, the largest human in the earth, Billy Gunn. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we're definitely big Billy Gunn fans, and we can't wait to see what they do with his sons, the butt boys at AEW. I mean, oh, the guys... We can meet them someday. Mm-hmm. How great would that be? I mean, so you look at the guy's age, and then you look at his body, and you're like, yeah, that's not supposed to happen. Mm-hmm. Do you think he has such big muscles because he takes the gunpowder? He probably does take the gunpowder. <laughs> I think he's admitted to taking the gunpowder. He has his own gun... It's called gunpowder. It's yeah. his own supplements. Mm-hmm. It's no Ico Pro. <laughs> my number two is someone that yeah today you look at him and like yeah you look good but you know and when you think back in the day whoa and that's Triple H I mean you look at him in like the 90's and 2000's it was insane well, the, I mean he literally tore his leg from taking too many steroids no he <laughs> tore his quad because he just planted his leg wrong on that clothesline that, that wouldn't have happened if he didn't have been steroids. You don't know that. <laughs> but his physique, when he first came back from that first quad tear, mm-hmm. insane. Mm-hmm. Like, he, he was like, could, he looked like the ultimate warrior when Warrior and Sting first started. He couldn't put his arms down because mm-hmm. his lats were so big. Yeah. And also, that was a big pop, too. And comment below if you guys want us to do the, like, the biggest crowd reactions ever. That'd be a good video. That, that's up there. Mm-hmm. I believe before we get into our number one, mom your, has a number one. Your mom has a number one pick. I cannot believe y'all have not mentioned him yet. He's Buff the Stuff, <laughs> Buff Bagwell. There's not many people bigger. I mean, he is muscular. Yeah, Buff was the stuff. Him <laughs> and Scott Steiner really did pair well together because mm-hmm. they were both built so largely. And yeah, they were both same scale, a same height. You know, they really did complement one another. I thought mm-hmm. so. Excellent tag team. I thought it was great. Who was your number one, Dad? My number one is simply ravishing. What I'd like to have right now is for all you fat, out of shape, inner city sweat hogs, keep the noise down while I take my robe off <laughs> and show the ladies what a real man's supposed to look like. <laughs> Is that how he did the That's thing? how he did it. <laughs> Simply ravishing. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Ravishing Rick Rude, the number one physique in wrestling history. Mm-hmm. My personal opinion. Now, my number one. It's not based on wrestling skill, but just the looks. And this is someone named Brachus. How many steroids do you think this man took? Probably more human growth hormone, but yes... Mm-hmm. HGH, definitely, because Vince was already testing for steroids in, but he didn't test for HGH at the time. Mm-hmm. Just ask Lex Luger and Davey Boy Smith. Okay, I had never heard of this person before. I, I hadn't either. I, I had, uh, he was like the WWF version of uh, Rob Terry. Was he any good? No. No, he wasn't. He hmm. was. He looked insane, though. Hmm. Well, Okay. I wonder if there's any people that y'all missed that would have been a great mention for the list. Yes, please comment down below who you think has the best physique in wrestling. Um, yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe. Go in the description to check out my merch store and my two other channels. Bye! Hey! Yeah. Tori Housing. I have two YouTube channels. One is Tori Does Everything, and another is Tori Talks Wrestling. You're the best. Have a great birthday. Love that Dan Housing. Oh, yes. Very good. Thanks for watching. Bye. And Tori now has merch. Go check it out at bonfire.com. Link in the description and under the About tab. Bye!